the Formosa cicadea, a species that at one point almost vanished from Taiwan's wilderness. After decades of repopulation efforts, they've become a common sight again in the country's self. But in places like the Hunchun Peninsula, not everyone is happy the animals are back. <laughs> The sicker deer is a native species in Taiwan, but human population growth and hunting nearly wiped it out. In the 1980s, Taiwan began releasing deer kept in captivity back into the wild. Over the years, the numbers have increased to several thousand in some areas. But the deer have no natural predators and are densely populated, which means they've started to look for food in nearby farmlands. <laughs> Pingdong is the third largest source of red dragon fruit in Taiwan, with an annual production value of almost 4 million US dollars. But cicadia frequently wander into plantations. Local farmers say that sometimes 80% of their fruit is eaten before it gets to shops. Farmers have started putting up fences to keep the deer out. Some have also been patrolling with dogs, while others have set up bird repellers which make loud noises to scare away the deer. But these are far from suitable solutions. In some cases, deer have died after becoming trapped in fencing. Experts are now pushing to include the Formosan sicker deer in the Forestry Bureau's Animal Conservation Plan. That way, farmers can be subsidized for helping to maintain their numbers. Around 2,000 Formosan cicadea roam freely on the Hunchun Peninsula. Conservationists now face a new challenge, how to find a suitable balance between these indigenous animals and the people who make their livelihood in the area. Annie Xue and Sani Chi for Taiwan Plus.